Today's gathering, uh, hosting the uh, World Organization for Scout Movement at uh, Kaisid headquartered in Vienna, uh, represent a very historic moment. Uh, these uh, three days uh, mark the beginning of development of our dialogical model. Uh, in partnership with the uh, scouts member who are attending today, Kaisid will be able to identify the dial dialogical skills that is needed for the uh, dealing with the conflict uh, zone uh, matters, as well as will enable us to take the outcome of these three days uh, gathering to the world as a prototype that was developed during these three days. Our aim at Kaisid during this, these three days together was to provide a safe space for various leaders of this World Scout movement to interact and to learn about each other's interreligious dialogue activities in different parts of the world, and in particular those activities that messengers of peace within the movement are doing to enhance understanding where there has been often misunderstanding and where they're actively involved in what one might call conflict resolution processes. This workshop is really the first um, activity between Kaisid and the World Scout and it is as a result of the signing of our memorandum of understanding with them and it's exciting for us at Kaisid uh, to be able to begin our partnership with the organization as well. When Baden Powell first uh, organized the Scout movement, he brought together people from different cultures and different religions and whether he intended to or not, he caused a dialogue to, to, to take place. And borders disappear. Age-old animosities just, just absolutely dissipate. Uh, xenophobic tendencies that we have are gone. Uh, kids are just kids and they lock hands, as I said earlier today, not to make fists, but to make, uh, to make a handshake and make friends. Before getting together in Pakistan in the integration camp, I was of opinion that uh, Indians can never be our friend. When we get an opportunity to sit with each other, to share our ideas and to understand each other, then finally there was a massive and positive change in our ideas and in our thoughts. After being over here, I saw that it is a good opportunity to, to be uh, together, to share their ideas, to share and to understand each other. Scouting in Ireland has, has, has a very long history of uh, working during the Troubles. Um, when there was bombs and bullets in the streets of Northern Ireland, scout leaders from, from both communities uh, worked together. Um, in fact, scouting stopped a lot of young people from going into terrorist organisations um, because they provided an alternative and they were shown how to be active citizens and how you can change society in a different way. Amaura Mani is a, a peace project in the African Great Lakes Rwanda, Burundi, and uh, DRC. When the young people, the scout young people, uh, went and accepted to go and kill, we found that that is not good. We decide as uh, the responsibles from uh, Rwanda, Burundi, and the Congo to, to put together a program of peace. There are different kinds of interreligious dialogue, some which are more about harmony building and others that are more about trying to transform a conflict into a less tense area. And therefore, by actually trying to move interreligious dialogue activities of the harmony model kind towards more mediation and conflict resolution uh, aimed uh, interreligious dialogue activities, uh, we think that the power of the worldwide scout movement to be actively involved in conflict transformation on the ground is a, a, a huge uh, asset to world peace. <laughs>